Hello and welcome to the California Water Update for June 2024. In this episode, we'll check on the status of the snowpack and discuss the impact of an early snowmelt. Next, we'll review the new report on California's groundwater conditions. After years of plummeting groundwater reserves, have we finally turned the corner? And we wrap up by reviewing the status of California's largest reservoirs. There's a lot to cover today, but you know what to do. Hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. The 2023-24 winter season is over. And although the winter season got a late start, several winter storms in February and March brought the snowpack to above average levels. The snowpack peaked on April 9th with an average snow water equivalent of 29.1 inches. That's 116% of the normal peak snowpack. Then a snowstorm in early May dumped more than two feet of snow onto the Sierra Mountains, helping to return the snowpack to above average levels. But since then, California has experienced warmer than usual weather. That warmer weather has led to the snowpack melting quicker than expected. Today, the snow water equivalent in California is 3.3 inches. That's just 44% of normal. For comparison, at this time last year, the snowpack was 32.2 inches, or 381% of normal. On average, the California snowpack provides about 30% of the state's water supply in a typical year. Ideally, California would like to see a gradual melting of the snowpack to allow for more controlled use of that water. This is a chart of the snowpack for the 2023 water year. As you can see, the snowmelt was gradual and lasted throughout June and even into early July. But this year, the snowpack is melting early, and this can lead to a mismatch in water supply and demand, with water resources peaking before they're needed during the, during the hot and dry summer season. Now, we'll discuss this further in the reservoir update, but most of Northern California's reservoirs are currently at or near full capacity. Due to this year's early snow melt, much of the resulting runoff will be released from these full reservoirs rather than being captured for use later on this year. Twice a year, the California Department of Water Resources releases a groundwater conditions report. This report provides the most up-to-date data and information on current groundwater conditions in the state of California. The most recent report shows that a remarkable 4.1 million acre feet of managed groundwater recharge occurred in the 2023 water year. Now, if you're not familiar, managed groundwater recharge is where water is deliberately directed or injected into underground aquifers to replenish groundwater levels. Overall, both managed and unmanaged groundwater storage gained a combined 8.7 million acre feet in the 2023 water year. This is the first time since 2019 that there was an increase in groundwater storage. For comparison, in the 2022 water year, over 17 million acre feet of groundwater was extracted. This increase in groundwater supply can be attributed to the high water levels in California's reservoirs. When the reservoirs are full, there is less demand for groundwater. While the last two rainy seasons have been good news for California's groundwater basins, there is still a lot of work to do. Long-term groundwater storage remains in a deficit of nearly 40 million acre feet over the past two decades. The reason for this giant loss in groundwater is simple. Years of pumping out more water than has been replenished. It would take nearly five consecutive years of above average water years like 2023 to refill that gap. Speaking of California's full reservoirs, let's check on the status of the state's five largest. We'll start with California's largest reservoir, Lake Shasta, which is located in Shasta County in Northern California. The current water elevation is 1,058 feet. That's 94% of full pool capacity at 113% of its historical average. Check out these two satellite images of Lake Shasta. This one is from April of 2022, when the lake was at 40% of capacity. And this image is from just a few weeks ago. You can't even see the bath bathtub rings anymore. What a remarkable turnaround in just two short years. Also, some go other good news about the uh, Lake Shasta area is that the Shasta Dam free tours are back open after a five-year hiatus. 
Now let's head 100 miles south to Butte County and California's second largest reservoir, Lake Oroville. The water elevation at Oroville is currently at 900 feet or 100% of its full pool capacity. That's 126% of its historic average for this time of year. Lake Oroville reached 100% of its capacity on May 3rd, and thanks to careful management, has remained at that full pool elevation. Maintaining full pool elevation is not an easy task. Dam operators need to continually adjust water releases to account for increased or decreased inflows into the reservoir. They also need to carefully maintain flood protection for the downstream communities. That is not an easy job to do. Now let's head back up north to California's third largest reservoir, Trinity Lake. Trinity is currently at an elevation of 2,349 feet, or 87% of its total capacity. That's 110% of its historical average. Located 130 miles east of Oakland is California's fourth largest reservoir, New Melones. The New Melones Reservoir is currently at 87% of its capacity and 140% of its historical average for this time of year. And finally, located 60 miles southeast of San Jose is California's fifth largest reservoir, San Luis. The San Luis Reservoir is lagging behind California's other large reservoirs at just 59% of full pool capacity and 86% of its historical average. I want to sneak one last thing in before we go. This is the latest drought map of California from the good folks over at the U.S. Drought Monitor. As you can see, there is almost no drought in the state of California. Compar compare that to just one year ago when 29% of the state was still experiencing some form of drought, even after one of the best winter seasons in 20 years. As far as water is concerned, California is looking good as we head into the long, hot, and dry season. Hey, that's all I have for this episode. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.